Welcome all, welcome back to I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to talk how to sketch the graph of this function, which is an absolute value function. We notice the absolute value here. And then we need to state the domain and the range. And in fact, I'm going to start with the domain of this absolute value function, which is all real numbers. If you remember, domain means axes. So what kind of axes, what kind of numbers you can plug in in this uh, function and you can plug any real number so that's the reason the domain is a real number if you need the interval notation there you go this is or how we said all real number negative infinity infinity and both of them with parentheses uh, now we can move to the graph and for sketching the graph I'm gonna use a table and I said that here down on the bottom you can use a table I'll show you another way also towards the end of this example and in this table, I'm going to start to 4. And if you ask yourself why 4 and not 0, eh, the reason is right here. You see this x minus 4? x minus 4 equals 0. That means x equals 4. That will be the most important point for this graph. And let's see what's happened when x equals 4. We're going to evaluate the function f at 4, f of 4. So we have 1 half times absolute value of the quantity 4 minus 4 minus 3. Now, this guy here, 4 minus 4 is 0, so absolute value of 0 is 0, minus 3, so we end up with negative 3. And like I said, this is the most important point, which is 4 right, 3 down. Okay, but well, let's get another point. And my next point will go with an x of 6, and I will tell you in 30 seconds, I guess, why 6 and not 5. And we're going to evaluate the function at 6. And we have 1 half times absolute value of 6 minus 4. And then minus 3. And now you'll see it. 1 half times 6 minus 4 is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2. That's the reason because these two guys cancel out. If you use 5. That's not bad, but you're going to get a decimal or a fraction. So that will be 1 minus 3, negative 2. So this is my second point. And by the way, I can follow the pattern and get more points. You see how I went 1 and 2. And that is the trick here. If you take a look at this 1 half, yeah, that's the way you can do it, a shortcut. And this 2 tells you how to go 4, 6, 8. But also, I'm going to go to the left, and I'm going to use 2 now. x equals 2, I'm going to have f of 2. And we have 1 half times absolute value of the quantity 2 minus 4 minus 3. So we have here 1 half, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, absolute value of negative 2 is still 2. So you notice we get... The same thing like x equals 6, we get that negative 2. And it should be no surprise here, because yes, there are some patterns in this absolute value function. Okay, I'm going to keep following that pattern to get more points and get a better graph in my case. Okay, but how many points do you need? In fact, you need the vertex and one more point to sketch the graph. And that's it. Okay, this is the graph of this absolute value function. And again, remember a couple things here. X equals 4 and that one half will be good things to uh, help you. Um, now let's go to the next part, which is the range. I said I'm going to do the range here, right? Uh, the range, you remember, means what kind of Y you can get out. And if you notice, this is the lowest possible value, which is negative 3, right? This is the lowest possible y value we can get. And by the way, this is called the vertex or is a minimum, right? After that, you can get any other value, but that is larger than negative 3. So the range R, I'm going to call it, is any number greater or equals negative 3. Nothing less than negative 3. If you need the interval notation, this is the way. Negative 3, 
infinity. And you notice bracket at negative 3 because we can have negative 3 and uh, parentheses at infinity. And that's it for this example. However, let me show you here. This is the graph also, a better graph. Uh, and another way to think about um, y equals absolute value of x is the pattern graph, how we call it, the simplest absolute value graph, right? This one, f of x, is four units right three down, because we have minus four, minus three here. And also the one half is how wide this absolute value graph is. And if you remember, I show you from here, you go one up, two right, one up, two right. So there are ways to do the graph if you remember what we call transformation. But if you do not remember transformation and you, or you didn't learn, uh, then guess what? You can use the table, like I said, down here. If you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.